you do if you have a really great marketing plan and you have a wonderful real estate agent, your house is neat as a pin and you have beautiful photography and even though you really, really didn't want to, you lowered your price, what do you do then? You call the woman who literally wrote the book on home staging and she is bringing up posse. We Teams. While the homeowners are at the movies, the stagers have four hours to transform this house in Mukilteo, using only items that are in the house and in the garage, except the dog. Exactly. This color is incongruent to me. Do you feel the same way? Whidbey Island real estate broker Bob Schwartz is teaching a group of stagers from around the country the finer points of making a house look good enough to sell. This house, priced in the mid-600s, has been languishing on the market for almost a year. So you want that wow factor when people come in and not there's different wows, not wow, gosh, I could never live here. You want to say, wow, this feels so good. I don't want to leave. I could move right in. You don't want to take it down now? This makeover is the student's final exam. The first rule of home staging, get personal items and plain old clutter out. But Schwartz says this homeowner went too far. Everything's pretty bland, isn't yes. it? To get started, the stagers put everything in the middle of each room, then aggressively redistribute. Watch the bottom. Perfect. It's, it's angled in the corner. You can see the back of the chair. Looks comfy, cozy. Another cardinal rule of home staging, remove big furniture. The hutch has got to go. Out it goes, out it goes, out, out, out. Today's market, what we're seeing is 95% of the homes that are staged are selling in 35 days or less. Another tip, instead of pushing furniture flat against the wall, float it, then add warm details. Come on in. What will homeowner Patricia Reeves and her son Ryan think? Oh, wow. What do you think? That looks great. What do you like about it? It seems more open. Yes. I like the colors. Colors are wonderful. And those mm -hmm. are your things. Yeah, yeah. Before it was all not not as like roomy and something that you would want to live in, and now it's all like inviting and something you would like to sit down and take a seat and have like coffee or something. Back in Ballard, I hope you can just relax and have a good weekend, a good time with your husband. And yeah, I'm under a, a lot of tension and pressure to relax. Susan Painter did her own home staging. Uh, the couple also sprang for a new roof, had the lawn resodded, and added plants. Wilson likes them. Everyone agrees this house could not look better. But there's also a real emotional side to selling a home. I mean, you, you love your home, you, your life was here, you filled it up with your life, and you want somebody else to fill it up with their life. And you, so you get it all ready, sort of like if you were preparing for a great big dinner party and everything's shining and the silver is shining and people come in and they look at your food and they say, this looks delicious. I'm sorry I can't eat any. In these tough economic times, homeowners need to work hard to attract a buyer. Then comes the really tough part, when all they can do is wait. We thought this house was going to sell in a, in a month and, and we're off on a new adventure. Um, and I don't know when that adventure is going to start now. A recent article in Washington CEO magazine began like this. We now join the national housing downturn already in progress. Let's get the full report on the statewide real estate market on our CEO magazine spotlight.